What's good, people? Cosmic Lou's back. Hey, man. We are about, actually we are, halfway through the season of DC's Titans on uh, the DC streaming service. And let me tell you, six episodes in, and it has gotten better every episode. I mean, one was kind of rough, and everybody kind of sold it off on one, and it, it, it progressively gotten better. It's progressively gotten better, episode by episode. The characters are getting better. I mean, we're starting to figure out, as watchers, we're starting to figure out more and more about them, and I like the way that it's going. So, you know, the last time I spoke about it, it was I think it was after episode three or four, or something like that. It was still kind of sketchy, still kind of iffy, um, story-wise. But it's really developed. And, you know, the halfway point, you know, is looking pretty doggone good. So, so episode four, I believe it was four or three. Anyway, so far after the last time we've, we've uh, spoke about it, um, Starfire is apparently like, she, she's am, she has amnesia. She has no idea who she is. She knows her name is Corey. That's about it. And she is really, really bad. I mean, she, she's just badass. So... She's like a mixture of Jason Bourne, and uh, she has the fighting skills of Jason Bourne, and she can, you know, apparently her power set is she can absorb, you know, power from the sun and redirect it. She's stronger in the daytime and, and weaker at night. Um, they found, you know, Beast Boy showed up, and he lives with the Doom Patrol, or lived with the Doom Patrol. And I didn't know much about the Doom Patrol, I really enjoyed that episode. I really enjoyed the way it was written. It was really well done. I dug it, and uh, those some really memorable characters. And Beast Boy, uh, just you know, similar to his uh, his uh, cartoon origin. He's from the Congo. Got sick, and the doctor from the Doom Patrol uh, healed him, and you know, made him better. But now he can manipulate his cells. And he can become anything that he wants to. And he becomes a tiger because he has like this uh, love of tigers. And he feels like that's a spirit animal. So that's why he becomes a tiger all the time. The CGI for the tiger the first time I saw it was kind of meh. But it got better and it kind of grew on me. So I can't really knock that. Uh, Raven, she is whiny. She is a little bit, you know, she was. But she's gotten tougher. But she was really, really whiny the first couple episodes. Kind of weak. Uh, as a character, but she's she's grown on me. Uh, what else? Dick, Dick is good. Dick Grayson is a good character. I like the guy who's playing him. I like the way that they're rolling it out. Um, he's definitely running from his past. He doesn't want to be Robin anymore. He's uh, he doesn't want that violence in his life. He, he tries to run from it, but it just keeps on coming back. And he absolutely destroys people. And they uh, they introduce a nuclear family, like I spoke about before, and they eventually got beaten by the Titans, and that was one of the best fight scenes I've seen on television. Um, granted, it wasn't television, it was a, a tablet, but still, you get what I mean. So, they, they beat the nuclear family, and, and uh, they end up working for some company. They haven't said who they work for yet, but they work for somebody, and they want Raven dead. But the Titans beat them, and the boss found out that they got defeated, and <laughs> They apparently had explosive chips in their head, kind of like uh, what Amanda Waller did to the Suicide Squad and all those people that she chipped. And uh, he found out they got defeated and blew their heads up, which was kind of an awesome scene because they knew it was coming. Their forehead started blinking like they had a turn signal on and then they just went full pumpkin. Bloop. And <laughs> Starfire found them and she was like, oh. well, they were captured and she found them in the hotel room still tied up with their heads blown off. And Dick Grayson blamed her which is kind of funny, but Dick Grayson and Starfire, Corey, had this thing, uh, like they did in the comics, like they did on TV show, they, uh, they have a fling, they have some kind of attraction there, and they actually get it on, she, you know, she gets them drunk off tequila, she brings a bottle of tequila to his room at, like, midnight, and they get drunk, and things happen, so, it is what it is, people, I mean, it was insinuated in the books, and there were a couple of panels of, of people drawn half naked, so, it's nothing new. Um, what else? Uh, they've really starting to come together as a team. And this last episode, uh, episode six, which introduced Jason Todd, which is absolutely my favorite Robin of all, uh, in, in print and in animation, he is my favorite Robin. I don't know if I like this Robin so much. He's kind of 
it, he's brash, he's young, he's a lot smaller than Jason Todd is projected to be in the comics and in the animated series. He's a little bit smaller, but he's just got the same mental attitude, and he's falling into the same groove that Dick Grayson fell into because he is all about the violence. He is all about kicking everybody's butt and being Batman, and he is sold on this Batman thing. He loves being Robin, man. He loves it, and uh, he, he ends up like kicking a crap on like eight cops and really hurting them bad, and Dick has to pull him off. Be like, hey, man, chill out. He's like, listen, I'm Robin. I can do what I want to do. So... You know, that the Batman brainwashing thing is a, it's a real deal. So, but, um, what did I cover? I, I pretty much recapped all six episodes. Raven's still on the run. Somebody wants her dead. Wants her dead. Uh, Starfire is really OP. She's a pretty awesome character. And Dick Grayson is Dick Grayson. The nuclear family's dead. They kidnapped the doctor that hired him. The Doom Patrol is really cool. And... Jason Todd is the man. Um, he's not really the man. He's a good character. I want to see where it goes. But he's kind of like out there. But what Robin really isn't. That's my point. So uh, if you get a chance to watch it, if uh, if you like it, let me know. Because I can dig it. Six episodes in, six more to go. All right? So until next time, this guy's glue. I'm out.